This is Ikerege area in Migori County, few kilometers from the Kenya-Tanzanian border. It's one among the food baskets of the country. Here, donkeys are the major mode of transport. Residents have developed themselves through the income generated from donkey business. One Peter Chacha, who has acquired the name Peter Punda, Swahili word for donkey, because of his thriving business. But this old mode of transport that is so efficient for Migori residents is now under threat. The farmers are watching their animals die. It was very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. Punda kikonjeka. Ananza kujikuna kuna sana kujikuna kuna. Kuna punda yoye manyambaya nilikuwa nazo kama sita lakini mbildi. Shortage of veterinary officers is impacting farmers as they begin to experience the demand for veterinary care. Tukicharibu mbinu yoyote, punda atipiwa hapa, hatuna mbinu. Chuhu tukipeleleza, punda alikuwa ncheka huku, anayesasa idikaje, hakuna mbinu yoyote tunayesasa idia huyo punda. Na wakati moja ni nita niende nione punda wake, mimi nilienda. Due to this, I accompanied African Network for Animal Welfare, ANO, in seeking to know what's happening to the animals and whether indeed there's a shortage of veterinary officers who specifically focus on donkey welfare. The donkey is one of the most neglected animals, which is very, very ironical, uh, considering it, it actually is very, very useful to quite a number of households. So as an organization, uh, we are trying to strengthen the accessibility um, and quality of uh, health services, specifically targeting uh, the donkey. And we are doing this uh, through training animal caregivers uh, and the ones who are responsible in terms of upholding the welfare and the health of this animal. Yeah. So we are training them on uh, basic uh, husbandry management mm -hmm. and also how to identify and approach clinical cases that are affecting donkeys. And donkey being the source of livelihood for many residents here, the donkey owners have come up with a self-help group that seeks to address emerging issues in the business. To feast our fellow members, mm -hmm. encouragement, giving them advice about how to treat the responders, you are to say idea. Ano is now seeking to help farmers by coming up with a program that will see farmers have their animals vaccinated as well as trained on best practices that will in turn boost the animal population. That's an issue that needs to be tackled. Uh, through rigorous vaccination campaigns and also public awareness and education on the prevention and control of this disease. Kenya is a host to four donkey abattoirs with a slaughter capacity of a thousand donkeys per day, which experts from Arno says is not even remotely sustainable and could see the donkey population in the country wiped out in two years. Linda Koske, K24, Migori County.